To EU member states and their citizens, the European Union can seem like a hydra-headed beast with myriad funding projects difficult to navigate. That's why the European Parliament is working with a commission to create a guide explaining how to combine different kinds of funding, both public and private, to stimulate investment and create the jobs the EU so urgently needs. At a hearing led by the EPP group's Lambert van Nistelrooy, MEPs joined with members of the European Commission and local authorities to discuss ways to make the funding process simpler and more effective, to enhance the synergies. We have to do, get more out of the taxpayers' money. So now we have several funds. We have five funds, structural investment funds in Europe. If you live in a city or are an entrepreneur, you don't care too much. You get it from research or regional development. This is tailor-made what we have to solve. The idea is to combine funding from the European Fund for Strategic Investments, or EFSI, the so-called Juncker Plan, that's to generate 315 billion euros in investment, with money from the 7 billion euro Horizon 2020 Research and Development Program, along with other public and private investment. But it has to be done within EU regulations, which can be complex. The European Commission is proposing to draft a guide by summer to help all parties involved to navigate those rules. At the hearing, Maria Spiraki of the EPP group led a panel on the multi-funding approach. We are now facing uh, an increasing uh, pressure coming from the, from the global markets. And uh, the, the, way, the only way that we have is synergies is how to, to use our resources in, a, in the best manner. So, uh, of course, we have to, to avoid uh, uh, double spending. Of course, we have to avoid overlapping. One way to combine funding is so-called smart specialization. The EPP group's Ivana Maletic headed a panel on it. First, they should decide where to develop what and then invest heavily and focus our investment in that specific field, in that specific region. It should be based on partnership principles, so everybody should be involved. Entrepreneurs, scientists, uh, non-profit organization, youth organization, that they feel that this is really their idea. Christian Ela is the EPP Group's coordinator of the Industry Committee. He sees smarter spending as the kind of reform the UK is looking for ahead of its EU referendum. For the first time we reserved one-third in the structural funds for research and innovation. So it's more driven by the idea not so much investing in infrastructure, more investing in growth, in innovation, in competitiveness. And I think that the future might not be um, getting more money, but the future might be get more out of the money we have. The Commission aims to have the guide published by autumn, a guide that could grease the wheels of what can be a complicated process, but a highly important one, keeping Europe's recovery on track. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.